Memorial Hill Cemetery, Milledgeville, Georgia's local beautiful historical attraction. This cemetery is home of many historically significant burial sites, including Flannery O'Connor, Carl Vincent, and many Confederate war soldiers. To learn more about the cemetery and the historical sites located there, we had the pleasure of speaking with Robert J. Wilson III, the university historian at Georgia College and State University located in Milledgeville. So people come from all over the world to see Flannery O'Connor's grave. She's, it's like Emily Dickinson or Henry David Thoreau or these places where people are kind of fanatic about the person. Mm -hmm. And they leave things on her grave. You'll see pennies, you'll see objects from her short stories. You'll see notes. Uh, one girl was breaking up with her boyfriend and she wrote a long note kind of poem about it, left it on the grave. Uh, so that you never know what you'll find there. If there are three links, some others, that those graves mark people that belong to a fraternal lodge that was very active here in the late 19th century. It's a group called the Odd Fellows, and they're like the Masons and the Quanians and Rotarians and all that. So, and, and it was very active and big in this town, black Odd Fellows, and their symbol was three links. That was the symbol of the order. So I think what we're seeing there are Odd Fellows, the Confederate States of America, and there are uh, Probably hundreds of them in the cemetery, but they're they're everywhere. There were no soldiers here when Sherman came through. That's why he could come through so easily. There were some young militia boys, and uh, some prisoners that were let loose from the penitentiary, which is right where Georgia College is. You may or may not know that, but we were the Georgia State Penitentiary. At any event, there was hardly anybody to defend the town. So Sherman was able to basically march right in. There was no blood. There are bizarre people. There's, you know, there's, there's murderers. There's, you know, uh, all kinds of strange people uh, buried there. Mm -hmm. um, in, fa in fact, a lot of strange people. One of them is a woman uh, named Dixie Haygood. Petite, cute young woman. She learned to do magic tricks. And she went on the stage. And she called herself the Little Georgia Magnet because her act was that she could make herself so heavy that nobody could budge her, even big burly guys. She'd put up a pool stick and hold it like this and dare anybody to push her over and they couldn't move her. The stories grew up that she was a witch and you should come around her grave because she'll be cursed and all that. There's a, a, an outlaw named Bill Miner who's buried there. Bill Miner was considered, uh, was often referred to as the last of the Western bandits. He committed the first great train robbery in Georgia, the Georgia Railroad, at a stop up around Gainesville, Georgia, if you know where that is. Uh, White Plains, it was called. And he didn't quite succeed. They led him a merry chase all over Georgia. He was finally captured and put in the brand new penitentiary in Milledgeville, which was built in 19... War, the new superintendent of prison said, to, you know, Mr. Miner, you know, we knew you had this reputation for escaping, but I hope you're not going to do that here in our prison. He said, no, sir, I'm an old man. I'm 67 years old. Those days are behind me. Well, he broke out of that prison three times. Memorial Hill Cemetery is a hidden treasure in the small city of Milledgeville, Georgia. Its history and monuments embellish the city's past and tell an incredible story of how one small town's past should always be remembered.